Okay, hello there. Um, this is my first uh, audio recording thingy majigger, and it's a bit weird. But um, here you have a kitten rendering video. Um, that is if that is too hard to read, uh, you'll be able to see it in the description. And um, yeah, let's get started. So I got this photo here. Cause I always do that, and um, like. I sometimes feel a bit bad about taking photos that aren't mine, but I don't think that they should really be that offended if I give proper credit. Hopefully YouTube won't yell at me, but I'm not using music where they would yell at me even more. So yeah, and yes, I sometimes have trouble finding the brush. I'm human, but I found it. There we go. I'm going to start out with a little sketch. No, I don't use any tracing. You don't see any tracing there. No, do ya? No, you don't. Um, I pretty much just, like, have my cursor, like, put it on, like, around over the shape of the, uh, of the kitty, like, around its head. While the, like, memory of how my hand moved was still on my head, I would go and do a quick sketch of it. And that's how I get it without having to trace. Now I'm doing shading. Um, normally I don't do a picture of a white animal, but, um, well actually I do, what am I talking about? But this time, instead of going completely black and then going for the white, I decided to go first start out white, then get darker in only some areas. I don't know, sometimes I do art differently than how I normally do it. I'm weird. Just accept it. Um, this kind of cute is really hard to do because there is a fine line between it looking cute and looking creepy, or in this case, looking angry. Um, right now the cat's eyes sort of look angry, but it's it'll it'll be fixed in all the due time. And I see I'm starting to get my blending on, it's getting all blendy testic, and I'm messing around with the layers because. I forget how many layers I have, and which ones are what. I normally, um, uh, name my layers, but this time I decided not to, because I'm weird, as that's already been established. Um, with pictures like this, the subtlety of the changes in shading are really, really difficult. Like on the head here, I keep on having to go back and changing all the shading. Just closing up, going back out, stuff, special. As I rewatch this video, bits of it irk me. Like, oh, I should have done that different. Right now I'm thinking, ah, the angle of the face looks a bit more skewed. It's supposed to be turned another way, but no. You know, an artist is almost never pleased with their artwork, especially when looking back on the process. Just bothersome as hell. <laughs> but I know that it's still a work in progress, this is only part one, I'll be able to go back and fix everything that bothers me. Right now the eyes are looking sort of angry-tastic. It's a bit scary. Yeah, but I want to make it look cute! It's a cute kitten, so the picture has to be cute or else I have not achieved my goal, which is to make it realistic and to look actually like a photo, which is in fact cute. Here I am saving it, because I forgot to save it, I figured there's wind outside, it can blow out the power like it did a few days ago, which sucked ass. Our everything was blown out, we had, had candles, there's no phone, I was like, no. So yeah, I saved it, it's okay, life is good. I'm able to continue on with my other picture and save occasionally. I've forgotten to save pictures in the past, and then the computer died, and I was not happy for the next, like, five hours. After I realized this thing I worked so hard on was gone just because I forgot to save it. Keep listening to this rant. Save your work constantly. That's what I do. <sighs> yes, yeah, this, this video gets pretty boring. Pretty boring. La, 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 la. You see, n none of my work tends to be really. Um, I don't do 
one thing at once, like I'm shifting between doing the ear, the eye, the muzzle, um, the paws, shifting around everywhere because my art can't tell me what to do. Uh, just a second. Ooh, Bubba, you gonna throw up? You gonna throw up? No. Sorry, my dog is behind me. I thought she was gonna throw up because she does that. But she didn't, so that's good. <laughs> this thing is going actually four times faster than I actually took. So that, that gives you a bit of perspective on how freaking long it takes to do a rendering. But it's fun work! Whenever I'm really, really bored, like this, this happened out of boredom. I'm just, you know, I am really bored, I have no one to talk to, and I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna go do a rendering. I started doing one for a reason that I don't actually remember. I was like, I wanna do this. It was actually first of a mouse, and people are actually pretty surprised by how it turned out. So I was surprised myself. I didn't do the tail or the feet, though. I just did the fur. <laughs> But it was good, it was good for practice. Um, I don't know, like, you know how, if you go back to the beginning of the video, it just looks so horrible. It's just this, like, weird, wonky-looking sketch. And now, it's getting into the parts where there's a lot of blending, shading, it's looking more realistic despite how it looks absolutely creepy. It's a work in progress. But, I don't know, it makes me feel better. When I'm in a state of self-loathing, because that happens a lot, because I'm crazy, <laughs> um, I can just go and look at this and be like, you know, things can turn out alright, even if they suck at the beginning. Because this picture sucked at the beginning, but I worked on it and worked on it, and it's looking better. And I know, in my heart of hearts, that if I keep on working on this thing even more and more, then it's going to keep on getting better and better. That's how it always is with each and every rendering that I do. <laughs> so yeah, I do renderings for fun and to make myself feel better. And that's why I said at the beginning, it's great fun, you should try it too. Because, you know, even if you're not really good at art, I'm quite sure that people can do this anyway. As long as they have good patience. I mean, this, this takes me hours anyway. Somebody who doesn't think they're very good at art may take them much longer, but I'm sure that anybody can do this. Um, my family says a lot to me, like, Oh, you have good talent. You were born with talent. Like, my mom is a great artist. Maybe that's where I get it from. But then other people say that's like, No, there's no such thing as talent. There's only, like, you practice a lot. But then my family says, What? Really? There are people out there who can never do art good. But, I don't know. I don't really like saying practice makes perfect. Maybe some people can never be really good. But, practice doesn't make perfect. How about you say, practice makes progress? That I do believe in. Somebody may never be perfect. Uh, artists never think that their work is perfect, but they sure make progress. <sighs> No, I don't even know if I can really call this a rant. Maybe I said that earlier, I forget what I say to people or to the camera. Huh. Oh, first time for everything. My first time audio recording and I'm screwing everything up. Just stick with me here. Hope you enjoyed whatever I had to say. <laughs> so yeah, this is getting awkward. The video is almost over. It's okay. I will get another video up soon, as soon as I can work on it more. Oh crap, I think there are people trying to talk to me on Facebook. Oh, well, they might be angry at me. But that's my video. Bye bye.